Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect Google Ads with or to GTM in 2023. Of course, GCM is the Google Tag Manager. So Google Ads, of course, is a powerful advertising platform and Google Tag Manager is an essential tool for managing website tags. So in this comprehensive guide, we will walk you through the essential steps to integrate Google Ads with GTM for streamlined tracking. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, we'll have to go and sign in for a Google Ads account. To do so, go and open whatever browser you're going to use for the tutorial steps. Of course, in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser. And of course, in your case, you can use any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you do so, go to this URL section. Here, you'll have to type ads.google.com and hit the enter button. And this will take you right away to the ho their home screen or main screen. You can scroll down, read more information about it if you don't know nothing about it. So familiarize yourself or have a general idea about it. And if you have an account, go to the top right corner and click on sign in. If you don't, click on start now for uh, instead uh, to create an account. For me, I'll just go and click on sign in here. And of course, they will sign me into my account right away. As you can see, this is going to be basically my dashboard here. So once you access, of course, your EDS or uh, Google Ads uh, dashboard, you will have to go and locate, of course, the tools. You'll find this here in the list panel. So if you go here to tools, make sure uh, to look for tools menu and select conversations if you found it. If you didn't find this here in tools, it's fine. You can simply go and click and set on this plus button, click on create. As you can see, you'll find here a conversation action. Click on that. And of course, in this new conversation action, what you will have to choose is simply we'll have to create a new conversation action uh, by clicking, of course, the plus button and basically just follow the prompt to define the type of conversation you want to track. Is it a website, app, phone calls, or you would like to import something? Choose whatever suits you. So I'll, just, I'll as an example, choose websites and of course, just go and enter the website's domain that you would like to track. So let's just go and do that. Click on scan. And as you can see, you will have to add conversation actions like goal. I'll just do purchase and page load maybe. And the URL is going to be this. I can add this if I want to, or if I don't want to add it, there's no need to add it. So click on agree and continue. You'll need to add at least one conversation action to continue. Yeah. So I did not add a conversation action. So basically here, you will have to go and set up some conversation tracking option. Make sure to provide details about your conversation action, uh, like including the conversation name value, if applicable, and other relevant settings. You can choose even Google uh, Tag Manager as a tracking method. So if you go here and click plus a conversation like uh, action, you'll have to go and choose from here, like uh, what we are going to track first of all. So I'll just do here, maybe subscribe. Event type is uh, page load or from submission. And here, of course, you will have to go and change the URL. Then if you click on see more settings, you will find like events, uh, conversation name, value, counts, and a lot of other stuff that you may able or you'll be able to uh, change depending on whatever you want. Once you finish, of course, click on done. And of course, the URL, I'll just do, I don't know, store. I don't know if it's even like there. So let's just go and add this as an example. Now you can even create conversation action manually using code as an example. You can click on it. And of course, you'll have to basically do the same. Fill all those informations. And once you click on, once you're done, click on that. So of course, this is for creating like new conversation actions. Now, if you want, of course, to connect it into like GTM, let's just go and open a new tab. We'll use Zapier for this. So go to a new tab, go to URL section, tap zapier.com. Again, here you'll have to go and create an account. If you have an account, just go and log in into it. But if you don't, of course, you will have to go and create a new account. What you'll need to do is simply go to this list panel, click on apps here. And once you, of course, log in into your account, go to search apps and search for Google Ads. Once you find Google Ads, first of all, click on connect into it and make sure to connect into your account. For me, I'm already connected. So as you can see, Zapier already have access. So I'll just click on X. After that, we'll have to go and look for the other thing, which is GCM or uh, as we said, Google Tag Manager. So type Google Tag Manager. As you can see, we will not find it here. So there is two solutions for that. The first solution is simply go and get one uh, of your plan. 
one of uh, one of the plans that they provided and as you can see make sure to get the professional plan because it will give you the unlimited premium apps and this free plan you don't have it so go and click on it before even getting it and search on the the app name first of all to see if we're gonna find it so google tag manager and let's see if we'll find it as you can see it's not here so even getting the plan will not solve it it's still one uh, simple solution, other solution, of course. Just go and create a new app as an example. And here as an example, I'll just type in this AI tool because this AI tool will help you uh, like creating the app and automating anything. So just simply uh, click on connect Google Ads with Google uh, Tag Manager and hit the enter button. And as you can see, it's generating at the moment. So we'll have to wait a bit. It should not take a lot of time, as you can see. Okay, so uh, as they shown us here, there is no problem. So I guess it's already there, as you can see. So basically, just go and click on try it. And here you'll be able to connect Google Ads with Google Tags. Uh, simple as that. So if you have this icon, of course, you'll have to solve those problems. As you can see here, we'll have to simply go and choose the trigger. So we'll have to go and add a value or do some custom things. So I'll just do like some random stuff here for you. Of course, make sure to enter everything like as you want. So I'll just leave it as it is. And of course, for this Google uh, ag, uh, tag manager, we'll have to connect into it again. And of course, make sure to go to that and get your API key. Once you get your API key, of course, you will have to type it here. Then. Once you type it in, you will, will be signed in. Then, of course, you will have to go and choose you, the events. As you can see here, they have added a tag. Per default, you can change it however you want. Or you can simply ask the AI tool to do everything like for you. Basically, just enter the details of what you want exactly. And it will do the triggers, the actions, everything for you. Especially if you have a plan, it will be even much better. Because in the free plan, you have like some limited resources on the triggers and the actions. So once you're done with that, of course, you will be successfully like connecting those two stuffs and you will basically be good to go. So of course, if you reach this point of this video, congratulations, you've successfully connected Google Ads to Google Tag Manager in 2023. Of course, with this integration, you can track conver uh, conversions, of course, and events on your website and even tag them. Uh, of course, more efficiently and regular. So make sure to regularly like review and test your tags to ensure like accurate tracking. And yeah, I guess that's it. So thank you for watching, of course, and happy tracking. And if you like this video, make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe for our channel for more helpful stories like this one. Of course, if you still have any problem, you can always contact the support of Google Ads or Google Tag Manager, or even leave a comment down uh, in the comments in the comment section. So that's gonna be it for me today. Thanks for watching again, and I will see you in the next video.